Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rants and Raves. This is from our pre-Infocom 2025 series in which we are highlighting some of the sessions that you should check out at the show and also some of the booths and technology. And part of that is why I'm interviewing Thomas Schultz today from Icron and Analog Devices. Come, Did I get that right? That's about right. Yeah, it changes okay. seems to be on a yearly basis, but yeah, that's about right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So first, first question. This is perfect. Yep. Um, can you give me a quick refresher on Icron, and sure. um, should I be saying ADI Icron, or like what's the best way to refer to you as a company? Okay. Well, let's let's dive into some history first. Um, so I've been at Icron for 15 years, um, but we've existed as a company since the uh, early 90s, actually. Um, primarily focused on USB extension. Um, in 2018, we were finally bought out by a bigger fish, and uh, that was Maxim Integrated. And I don't even know what we were called then, maybe just still Icron. Um, but then Maxim got it bought out by an even bigger fish as Analog Devices. So now we're officially ADI Icron, an Analog yeah, Devices yeah. brand, but we still just call ourselves Icron because that is the name people know us by. Okay, so. great. That's actually really helpful for me as I move forward yeah. to asking you questions. <laughs> for sure. No worries. <laughs> so you guys are bringing some great products, which is what you guys are known for. Icron is known for your products. And let's kind of go through a few of the standouts here. So yeah. the Raven is what you guys are bringing. And this is the third generation USB 3 extension solution. What yep. makes this product stand out? So this is our third gen, right? So our first generation and our second generation were both FPGA based. Um, I think as a lot of people know, when you build something off an FPGA, it's big, fat, hot, and expensive. Um, so this is nice because it's none of those things. It is small, so 70% smaller, 70% um, less power. So instead of seven watts of draw, we're only in like two worst case, which is great. And yeah, it's no longer, you know, triple digits in terms of, or even quadruple digits in terms of MSRP. Right now we're below hitting, you know, our competitors targets as well around, you know, 660 bucks, nice. which is great for the set, right? Yeah, um, yeah so we're, we're excited to finally be able to ship that shipping now. And uh, we're gonna show it off again at Infocom this year. So yeah. Fantastic. So who is this product really built for? What type of user and what kind yeah. of like application and AV environment does this really, really Benefit. Yes. So really, it benefits um, people typically installing into unified communication spaces, right? So people trying to get USB from like the table to the wall, or they need a camera in a weird place. Um, that's where you kind of need that USB extension to component, whether it's touchscreen, whether it's a camera, whether it's even just audio, going back to a DSP in a closet, that's also what happens. Um, and that's really what it's built for, right? Like, how do you get past that now, you know, less than a meter cable length? for USB-C cables and stuff like right. that. It's it's with an extender like this, right? You know, So we can do, what's really cool about this product is we actually can go over Cat 5e um, at five gigs. So unlike uh, other solutions where you need Cat 6a, if you have existing Cat 5e installed from the 90s, you can leverage that with this That's product. Cool. So it's awesome. Nice. Yeah, yeah, really excited so about it. You also have a new USB-C extension solution. This, is, this can handle both USB 3 and 4K video over one single cable, which is amazing. Tell me a little bit about like the real breakthrough here. Yeah, so we're calling this our Arbutus line of extenders. So an Arbutus is a type of tree found common or somewhat rarely in the West Coast of Canada. It's kind of unique. It's got like red bark. Um, so it's unique to us because it's kind of one of our first forays into the video side of marketing or the markets, right? Um, so this does what a true USB-C connection is supposed to do, right? It's got the 4K video and it's got the USB 3 connection. What's unique about it is that for other solutions out there, you're limited to USB 2 and video on a single cable. This one gives you USB 2 and 3 on a single Cat 6A cable, 100 meters. So you get that full connection capability and it's right there for you. It's plug and play, no drivers, nothing. And it just, you know, it just works. And that's kind of where the Icron name comes back into it. You buy our stuff, it just works. Yeah, yeah. So, and yeah. we're also seeing like USB-C everywhere right now. Um, yeah. So I'm wondering like what kind of feedback or demand led to this solution for you guys? 
Well, actually, we took a bit of a gamble because we started this project way back before 2020. Like it's been that long okay. road for us. So we kind of took a bit of a risk and, you know, Type-C came out. And we're like, hey, that's cool. Everything should probably go here, right? And then you yeah. saw Apple kind of going for it on our laptop, yeah. our laptops rather pretty quickly. Um, and everyone else is kind of slow to adopt. But now it's 2025 and like there's not a PC shipping or at least a laptop without Type-C connectivity. Absolutely. Um, can't speak for desktops necessarily, but any kind of mobile device, uh, all that in-room compute is all, you know, it's Type-C based now. Mm -hmm. um, so we're here to support the infrastructure. Um, our customers and our customers' customers are asking for that support. Um, there's not really a good solution on the market today. And that's where we feel like we'll really, we've really hit the mark on this pro with this product. So yeah. yeah, really happy that uh, the timing has been just about right. Right, yeah. like yeah. nearly perfect. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, two years earlier would have been nicer <laughs> just right. around well, before the market got there, but you know. You know what? I'll take what I can take. It, in COVID years, it's perfect because those yeah. two years actually don't count. So. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's so, all okay. on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Both of these solutions, they're powered by the Blackbird, right? So what should people know about the Blackbird and why is it a game changer for Icron's roadmap? Yeah, so Blackbird, um, what you might not know about Icron is we we didn't used to advertise this, but we're changing that as well as we do actually make, we make chips for USB extension. You find those in all sorts of weird places and maybe the same box is showing up in different brands you know, the world's worst kept secret, right? right. Um, but with this solution, right, so it's a, it's an IC um, that can essentially, it takes that DisplayPort interface and that USB 3 interface for what would be typical for a Type-C connection, right? And we'll packetize it into Ethernet frames. And we'll use that as the infrastructure, not only just to extend, but also to distribute over a network. So now we're just like, oh, it's an AV over IP play too. Um, so the cool thing about this chip is, you know, it works 4K60, 444, USB 3, um, five and 10, so you can use Cat 5 e cabling if you need to, five and 10 gigabit per second links, I should say. Uh, you got your side channels for RS-232 and Ethernet as well for control and other applications. Um, and lower power draw as well, which is great. And yeah, we're actually selling it to other people for oh. once, <laughs> which is not, it's not yeah. just gonna be an icon branded thing anymore. So we're working with a lot of partners to bring these things to market. And uh, I don't think there'll be anything at the show this year, but we're getting the word out for sure. Yeah, very cool. Come so, talk to us. <laughs> yeah. Give me anything else. Uh, is there anything else that you're showing at Infocom that you want to highlight that you think people really need to come by and see in action at your booth? You know, it's going to be those two products we're featuring pretty prominently. Um, and then we're also showing some of that roadmap for that IC and then showing those um, at our Butus product working over land. So you get true USB-C matrix switching which is pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, we're throwing a little celebration on, uh, you know, on June 12th, 4 to 5 p.m. Come by, have a beer, have a wine. Um, love to celebrate with the people there that have, you know, asked us to make this possible. And we're happy to deliver finally. Um, and that's booth 4275. Perfect. So, yeah. Well, yeah. Last question then, very easy, is where can people learn more about Icron and any of your products? Well, they can visit our newly refreshed site. It now longer looks from the early 2010s. So it's a brand <laughs> new website as well. We just launched last month. So visit uh, icron.com for your final information. So yeah. Well, Thomas, it's been a pleasure and I look forward to seeing you at the show. Awesome. Looking forward to seeing you too as well. All right. Thank you, everybody. And this has been another episode of Rants and Raves. I'm Steph Beckett and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Rave, rave. With Rants and Raves, you'll be Today is your lucky day. It is red and red.